Hey guys, today we're going to talk about something kind of disgusting. Uh, someone wanted to know, why do I have a sticky, tarry black stool on keto? Okay, so for those of you that have this, let's kind of go into why you might have this. It's basically unabsorbed fat. When you are transitioning from running on sugar for many, many years, and then you're going to actually burn fat, and you're going to consume more fat, it's going to take some time to make this transition or this adaptation. You have to make new enzymes. You have to make more bile. Your whole body has to adjust to it. In that transition phase, which is just temporary, you may end up with some fatty stool, too much fat in the stool. So the stool might float, might be greasy. It might leave skid marks on the, in the toilet. And that condition is actually called steatorrhea which you're overloading the colon with more fat than it can actually handle. Now, there are other causes to this, but if you're just starting keto and this starts happening, uh, the most likely reason is because you're in the transition phase and you're kind of overloading the colon with too much fat at this point because your body hasn't adapted to it. Here are some other reasons. Um, and a reason I want to bring this up is that if you make the changes that I'm going to suggest, and it doesn't solve this problem and it goes on for a period of time, get with your doctor and check because there could be an ulcer possibly or a hemorrhoid, um, pancreatic disease. You could have exocrine gland insufficiency, which basically you're not producing the sufficient enzyme that the pancreas is supposed to, and then you can't break down certain food particles. It could be iron, too many iron pills, side effect from some medication, and the list goes on and on and on. So when you overload the colon with more fat than it can handle, you're getting an incomplete digestion of fat. And you can at the same time have deficiencies of vitamin A, like your vision at night, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, omega-3, because of course these are fat soluble nutrients, okay? So if we take a look at right here, we have the stomach. It has a certain amount of acid. Um, your body is designed to have a certain concentration of this hydrochloric acid. And if you have the right amount of acid, then you'll be able to trigger the bile release from the liver. And then the gallbladder will have enough bile in a certain concentration to release at a meal. So there's a lot of problems that can happen with this right here. And one could be you don't have enough acid, in which case, you know, I always recommend betaine hydrochloride or apple cider vinegar to start to build up your stomach acid. But realize that your body actually can adapt to this new diet over a period of time and actually start making more acid just because it needs more acid, not just to break down protein, but also has a function of releasing the bile. Now, what does the bile do? It's kind of like the detergent that breaks down the grease, but it's not breaking down the fat to the smallest particle that the body can use. It just breaks it down to a certain level. It needs help from the pancreas. So the pancreas makes this thing called lipase, which is an enzyme that breaks down lipids. And this enzyme takes what the bile did to a certain level and breaks it down to the smallest level so the body can start using it. So there could be potentially a problem with the pancreas. There could be a problem with the gallbladder. There could be a problem with the stomach. There can even be a problem with your friendly bacteria not having enough because the friendly bacteria helps recycle the bile. You recycle like over 90% of your bile. So in finding the cause, it could be a problem with this, 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 or even the, the lower um, digestive system. But the biggest suggestion I'm going to give right now is simply to give it more time so your body can adapt um, and possibly cut down some of the fats. The other situation that this might occur is when you go to OMAD, one meal a day. So here you are doing three meals and then two meals, and then you go down to one meal a day. Were you doing this, especially in the beginning, you're doing this massive meal because you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not going to eat for 23 hours. I better really eat a lot. And you overload the system with just too much food, too much fat, and then you have this right here. That could be another situation, in which case, again, give it more time, let your body adapt, and you can also support your system with various things, like apple cider vinegar, like betaine hydrochloride, which is an acidifier, like purified bile salts. Uh, I put a link down below for more information about that, um, but purified bile salts will help you break down the fat, and you have to take this after you eat 
not before. And you take the acid before the meal. So you drink your apple cider vinegar or take them in tablets before the meal and then after the meal. You can even take uh, digestive enzymes. Okay, so that's another thing that you can do just to assist this whole process. You can even take a friendly bacteria to also help you in this process. All right, so basically what I wanted to do with this video is just to increase your awareness and what's happening. You don't have to freak out. It happens with quite a few people. It's temporary and just give it some time and definitely support your system in the process. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you have my app yet, Dr. Berg app, it's totally free. You should download it. Okay, this is what it looks like. You click it, it gives you all sorts of great resources. I have all my YouTube videos on this app. Okay, and it's regularly um, uploading the most recent ones. All the YouTube videos are also converted to audio versions. Okay, so you can use it when you're walking, exercising, driving your car. I have a mini course on there. I'll be putting additional courses. I have a lot of recipes on there. This is new and also PDF resources. So there's various downloads, PDFs that you can get as well. And if you wouldn't mind, after you download it, check it out. Give me your unbiased review and tell me how you like it. I want to know.